That's right. Let's fall head first into the pond. Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California. You know, it's a little bright. I'm gonna put some sunglasses on today. It's our warmest day of the week, so I figured I better get dressed, get out here, three shirts, and get some stuff done. Gary had finally, he's finally set up his pond and he gave me the okay to do what I want until he gets into it because he's going to make a waterfall and bring one pond into another. So I said, well, this is cool because with the solar fountain kits, you can set up something in five minutes and take it down in less than a minute. So I went ahead, came out here and figured, you know, today's a good day to talk about something we all need to know before we start buying a lot of solar fountains. So what I did here was I simply got the solar fountain kit that you know which one I get. I've got dozens of videos up on it with the long cord. I attached a, a hose. So that was all I needed to do. And then once I did that, I dropped the pump in there. I had this hollow piece of wood that I collected on the yard. I brought the pipe through and it is now running down the rock. The birds can come land here and then go take a bath. Isn't this cool? really like this. What I wanted to talk about today is there are different types of solar kits you can get. Now my favorite is the simple cheap one that costs anywhere. I'm going to say this should be anywhere between 10 and 25 dollars. I have seen them go last year as high as 50. This should never be 50 but you know what if you're in a hurry and there's none around that's up to you but I do know that I've gotten them as low as eight not recently. I've been paying about $11 on eBay. Why am I still buying them? Because I set them up everywhere. Isn't that crazy? And I really want the one with the long cord. So if you get the right kit, comes with the, with the little pump, comes with the cord, this is what's controlling it. For now, I'm just going to leave that there. And that's the one you want. Now, once in a while, I've had a couple of you say, it arrived, but I can't do anything with it. There's no cord. You may have ended up buying one of these. Now these two run about the same price, anywhere from 10 to usually $30. And there's your pump. Now this is Gary's. He used it for less than a year. Comes with the same attachments pretty much. But this is all you get. He used it and he gave it to me and he said he's done with it. He doesn't want it anymore. We ended up, well, I should say I bought two. And they come with all the kits kit parts like the other ones come with and this is it this is all that you get in the box nothing else now it has its good points and its bad points for me I don't have a lot of good points <laughs> I'm just it doesn't work for me oh it's already buzzing the reason I don't like it is you cannot control this this is really good if you have a great big pond if you've got a swimming pool you can just sit this in I'll show you what it looks like and it will work great and it will just bump around but here's the problem you know what i can use this one off of this i don't need to open up a new kit here's the issue with it this is your solar panel on the long corded one and this you sit anywhere you want i can put it on a stake i can put it on the ground i can put it on a wall i can sit it anywhere it comes with like a close to an eight foot cord this doesn't have a cord this is your solar panel and as you can see, what happened within the year is the plastic deteriorated on it. This isn't in water. It gets wet when you're watering the garden. It gets wet from the rain. It gets humidity on it and everything. That's fine, but it's not submerged. This is submerged. Even though it floats, it's constantly having water splash on it. We have hard water. It built up a lot of hard water and simply the plastic deteriorated. This one doesn't work. As far as cleaning the pump out, like I showed you, these rarely break. They just need a good cleaning periodically. It's actually glued in there and I still could probably get in there and clean it. But even if I clean it, the panel is pretty much gone. It's like, I wanna use the word corroding away. It's disappearing. So it's pretty much toast. It lasted him just less than a year. So that's the thing is you have to decide if you want to do something, a water feature with it. There it goes. There it goes. And that's what it does. Now when you have the sprayers on, the parts that come with it, the sprayer will spray out. I don't use a lot of these little pieces that come with even the one with the long cord. 
because it will spray on the outside and then you'll end up with your pond or your water well going out and then you're going to have to refill everything these just snap on but I, you've probably seen them. You'll know what I'm talking about. They snap on and then they spray everywhere. Here I can probably put one on. You probably want to see. Somebody's going to say, why didn't you put it on? Because I don't use them. And I don't use them because they spray everywhere. you got to really snap it on tight. Let's get this little guy out. The reason I don't use them is, like I said, see how it's all wet? If you've got hard water, it's going to be gone in six months. Here you go. Actually, this isn't too bad. For this pond, I could leave it in here. But again, it's only going to last me six months or so. And it's getting stronger. Now, I cannot leave this in here. Because it's already splashing here. And if it goes over to the side, I'll end up having the water all on the outside. And Gary will be looking for me to find out why his fish don't have any water. Because that thing can suck all the water out by bumping around. I can anchor it. I could tie a little weight to it and anchor it so it sits in the middle. But I wanted to share with you, this is not the one that you want. This one is not the one that you can put in a bowl and come up with your designs and do things with it. There's no hose attachment to this. There's not much you can really do with this except, like I said, put it in a pond. You've got a big pond. Make sure it's in a place where it's not going to splash out. And then it might be fine for you, but it doesn't work for me. And then the other problem is, it's just going to decay. These don't decay. I've got some of these now that are over three years old. Time flies. It could be four years old. And all I have to do is clean the panel off, take apart the pump periodically when they get dirt or, or algae or something inside. A quick clean. I've got multiple videos up on that. And then it's back to working again. They rarely go bad. Rarely. I think I've got one right now out of, geez, what do I have, 20 plus around here that isn't working, but the plastic started to deteriorate on the inside because it's my oldest one and it's falling apart. So I'm going to cut it up. I want to see what's inside. And that one I'm not even going to bother with anymore. It also had a cut cord. Something went through the cord. I think it was me or Gary. We had were lopping something and we went through and we put it back together. But otherwise, these things last for years and years. This submerged in water all year. I give it a year. This is foam, a soft foam, which is not bad, but that's why it doesn't sink because it's floating on that. So I hope I've answered your question on what you're looking for. You're looking for something that you want to sit, you know, have versatility. You can put this in a bowl. You can put it in a pond. You know, you want something you can really play around with. That's basically what I want. And then, of course, these do come with the parts on the small ones, and you could do different things with it. I have shown that if it sprays too much, like let's say I did want to use this, I can take my soldering iron. You know how I love my soldering iron. And I've made the holes bigger, so the water will go up, but it'll only go up about that high, and you have more control over it. So there's different things you can do if you want to use the parts to it because the parts are of course fun to use so i hope i've given you some answers on to what pumps to get before you purchase any of the solar fountains look at the picture really well i do get all mine on ebay look at the picture and make sure that it is the right one if you see something that's like this or round but you don't see the long cord and you're looking for the long cord, don't buy it. Keep looking, because sometimes when they run out of the long cord ones, I've noticed, they'll swap in and put these in the ad. They're not gonna send you this unless you this picture was in there and you purchased it with this picture. So read what it says, should say long cord, should say comes with the accessories, and it comes with the panel and the pump that is underneath, and then you're good to go. And on this, look at this. Had this thing set up in minutes, this is adorable. The birds can land here. They can eat. They can take a bath right here. There's nothing more fun than these solar fountain kits. With that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. So fun.